Lots on the line tomorrow for Lorraine City Schools. The district is acting, asking property owners there to pass a multi-million dollar operating levy. Without those funds, we're told drastic cuts will be coming to teachers and services as the district tries to emerge from state control. News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank takes a closer look now at issue 37. A financial storm is brewing in Lorraine schools. Go ahead and go to the next stop. With the district projecting a budget deficit of $13 million in 2023. Here we go. That number expected go. to balloon to $66 million by 2025. Just throwing money every, every time you've got a problem is not going to take care of it. Lorraine property owners like Gus Pascaris now asked to help shore up the shortfall at the polls. Every time you turn around, it's and not another tax, another tax, and I'm tired of paying taxes and I'm getting nothing on it in return. The retired Ford plant employee casting his vote against issue 37. I did go against it because I think um, all these taxes, they been wasted. They're not using it the way they're supposed to. Issue 37 would cost the average homeowner like Gus about $238 a year and it would give the district more than $4 million annually for operating expenses beginning in January. If people challenge, shall we spend money? I, I recommend, call me, we'll sit down and talk about it. Lorraine School Superintendent, Dr. Jeff Graham tells us it's been nearly a decade since they requested a levy increase. It's intended to get you five years and we got nine. So I think we've been, I think we can demonstrate that we've been respectful to our taxpayers. If issue 37 fails, Graham says the financial fallout will be deep. So when we cut, um, we, we lose teachers, we lose support staff, we lose quality programming. The request for a cash infusion comes as Lorraine City Schools tries to emerge from under state control. We're in a great position to get our district back, uh, but there are certain benchmarks that we have to reach over the course of the next three, four or five years, and we can't do it through, you're not going to get there by, by just making cuts. We know turnout at Board of Elections is typically low in non-presidential elections, something supporters of issue 37 are trying to counteract with increased canvassing throughout neighborhoods and making calls. So even if we pass the levy, uh, we still have to demonstrate some more efficiencies. And that's something Gus Pascaris wants to see regardless of the outcome at the polls on Tuesday. The money is going to fix the problem? No. Money doesn't fix always the problems. It's the people fixing the problems. Reporting in Lorraine, Mike Brookbank, News 5.